On some nights, as many as a dozen prostitutes can be found working the streets in this section of Inigua. People here say the problem is taking a toll on the neighborhood and it is getting worse. They have escalated, but uh, the, uh, the, the illegal activity does uh, seem to maintain a pretty steady stream. Efforts by some here to curb the problem have resulted in threats of violence, but as these homemade video interviews reveal, the prostitutes themselves are also at risk on the streets. You, you've punched people here? Yeah. Why? Like, what uh, did they do? What, what incident? A guy pulled a knife out. Okay. And um, right when I saw the knife, I just clocked him in his jaw. Did he pass? It? Did you knock him out? Yeah, I knocked him out. I mean, I've had stuff like that happen, and where basically the whole, my whole right side of my body was scraped up. Um, I don't remember how I got from here to my apartment. However, a police department spokesman says cracking down on prostitution in the neighborhood is a difficult task due in part to the scope of local laws. Because of the uh, law, it's very vague regarding prostitution. Solicitation is illegal, yes, of course, but uh, we are trying our part in the enforcement aspect of it. you got to remember, too, that it takes time for the police to find out whether or not prostitution is actually existing. Of course, you see them walking on the roads and they're not out there just loitering. It's other illegal activities, and if we do come across it, they will be arrested, and they have in the past. But meanwhile, it appears the problem will continue to affect life here in Inigua. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.